Time for another book review. I've done a few book reviews before on this channel, running book reviews, of course. And today we are reviewing uh, this monumental piece of literature. Better Training for Distance Runners by David E. Martin and Peter N. Co. First of all, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, hit the little bell button next to it so you get notified when I upload a video. And of course, follow me on Strava and follow me on Instagram. There's links in the description. So, better training for distance runners. Peter N. Co. is the father of Sebastian Co., also his coach. Sebastian Co., of course, was one of the greatest middle distance runners in history. And, uh, and this is essentially then almost like a manifesto, I guess, of how he trained. The philosophy of Peter and Co. as a coach. But then you have David E. Martin, PhD, which is also chiming in with lots of science. They're both very sciencey, and this this actually is a very sciencey book. It's not your. We can say that right off the bat. I would not recommend this to the average runner just interested in sort of tips and tricks on how to run better. This is, this is a textbook, okay? And then when I say textbook, I mean, this is what you would read if you were studying exercise physiology at the university, okay? This is, uh, maybe it's even part of the curriculum some places, it might be, it should be, because it really is extensive. So, uh, let's talk about it. Let's read through the contents. That's always a good way to start. Um, introduction, obviously, blah, blah, blah. Defining the role of a coach, uh, the successful athlete-coach relationship, scientific evaluation of health and fitness. Chapter one, the biomechanics of running. Okay, we're talking about kines kinesiology, the study of movement, uh, Q&A about biomechanics, uh, improving biomechanics, etc. Chapter two, muscle physiology for running. So muscle fiber types, uh, neuromuscular aspects of, of, of running. And then chapter three, the energy dynamics of running. That we're talking about energy systems, aerobic versus anaerobic metabolism. And really, this is where they go ridiculously in depth when it comes to the Krebs cycle, uh, the biochemistry of it all. You know, you'll see diagrams like this. Okay, so we're, we're really going in depth with every little enzyme involved in the aerobic metabolism of fuels. And so it's, it's really, it takes uh, probably a little bit of baseline knowledge. You should probably know a little bit about biochemistry and, and physiology before you read this. On the other hand, it is also a good introduction if you're willing to really study. Because it's not like a casual read. This book is not a casual read. This is a, uh, a, a school textbook, as I said. Anyway, so energy dynamics of running, that was chapter three. Chapter four, heart, lung, and blood adaptations to running. So what actually happens, right? Like how does the body adapt to running? What kind of adaptations are taking place in the body when you're training? Chapter five, developing running with periodization of training. So here's, you know, programming, how to set up a training program, principles of periodization, um, altitude training. Chapter six, developing total fitness, strength, flexibility, and health. So talking about strength training, mobility training, etc. Chapter seven, preparing to race. So this is a cool chapter because it goes through all the different distances. So it has a little bit of a section on the 800 meter, the 1500 meter, the steeplechase, the 5,000, the 10,000, the marathon, and goes through how they differ in terms of how you would prepare and what are the requirements of the race. And then ultimately chapter eight, managing balanced training, fermenting over training and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very extensive book. It goes into much detail. It's one of the best books that I have read actually, honestly, about um, running training. And I highly recommend it. There will be a link in the description. That's an affiliate link for Amazon. If you wanna buy the book, you can click that link. 
and it'll take you to Amazon and you can get the book. One of the awesome things about this book is how systematic it is. So it, it will really lay all the different systems out and explain to you how different paces and different intensities give different adaptations, how long each interval should be. Uh, there's a really cool diagram in here, it looks like that. Um, where, you know, it shows from the easiest recovery type runs up to the fastest sprints increase like what kind of adaptations you're getting from each of the speeds and intensities and 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 w you know when it's relevant to do the certain intensities etc so it's it's a it's really giving you an overview of, of of training and physiology and biochemistry that's really really good anyway what do i think about the book uh, or the contents rather i want to share a little bit about my view on the contents so you know there's the hardcore science part of it which you know is hardcore science so there's no really no debate going on there but when it comes to coaching philosophy or programming philosophy or like essentially when it comes down to it like how many miles should you run every week like volume versus intensity that sort of thing a very simplification of course would be to say that these two guys and this book um, emphasizes quality over quantity okay so intensity over volume of course they're both important and, and I'm, I'm a little bit generalizing and simplifying here but compared to something like uh, Lydiard philosophy or uh, Jack Daniels which I'm a you know I'm a certified Lydiard coach I'm also a certified uh, VDOT Jack Daniels coach and of course if you're interested in coaching I do offer both coaching and uh, training programs, customized training programs, they're available on my website, so you can check that out. There's a link in the description. That's mgjcoaching.com. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jack Daniels kind of style versus um, Co. It's a little bit different in the sense that Lydia, Daniels, Fitzinger, they will typically emphasize volume more and then have a peaking sort of um, programming versus uh, one of the big things from uh, Co and Martin is this idea of what they call multi-tier training or multi-tier training I should say which basically means that you're touching on all the energy systems year round and it's oftentimes a little bit lower in volume so uh, Sebastian Co is known to run fairly low volumes I'm not exactly sh I don't remember exactly right but something like 120 kilometers per week or something, 140, I don't know. Whereas Lydiard, Daniels, and most typical marathoners will run more volume and uh, have periods of time where they're less focused on the intensity. But it's important also to bear in mind here that Sebastian Coe was a middle distance runner. Um, he was not a marathoner. So perhaps if he evolved to a mar become a marathoner, and if uh, then maybe they would agree more on the literature side. I don't know. That's just my personal sort of view of things. So I don't agree with everything that I read in this book. But honestly, that's just this is just little little things. Doesn't matter that much. This is uh, one of the, as I said, one of the absolute best, one of my absolute favorite books uh, uh, for distance runners. As I said, not not a casual read, not for your average beginner sort of looking for tips and tricks. But if you are into the physiology of things, if you really want to learn why you're doing certain training and, and why it's good and, and, and how to train optimally, I would certainly, certainly recommend it to, to read it. And the affiliate link is in the description. There's also a few other affiliate links there, of course, to books like Jack Daniels Distance Running Formula, which is one of my favorite books. Uh, Pete Fitzinger, Faster Road Racing, for example, Advanced Marathoning. Also links in the description to those books, so you can check them out as well. Uh, but it's definitely up there, I would say. You know, if you if you were to have five books on running, that's a good topic for another video. But if you were to have five books on running, this I would say should be one of them. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope your running is going super well. If you want to follow my running, you should check me out on Strava. But I'm also offering exclusive running content on my Patreon page, The Lone Trail. There's also a link in the description for that. Lots of links in the description. Check it all out. Uh, and so if you're interested in following my journey and getting some inside content, we do a monthly Q&A for patrons only. Uh, you should definitely check out that. 
and I wish you happy running and uh, a good day. Bye.